Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. In this vlog, we're going to be talking about Fenty Skin and my honest take on Fenty Skin. Now, there are some products that I like, but I don't too much love, and I'll get into that in this vlog. Also, we'll be talking about my first impressions, how it feels on my skin, if I've seen results or not so much, and then we're going to be talking about the price of each specific um, product and then if it's refillable we'll go over the price of the refills but if you ever wondered about Fenty Skin this is a vlog for you so be sure to stay tuned um, take notes if you want fill up your Sephora cart or your Fenty beauty cart with these products and let's get into it So I want to start off by stating I have all my notes on my phone. So if you see me look down, it's because my notes are on my phone. But for Fenty, um, they can all Fenty skin products contains recycled materials and was and is recyclable. It's vegan, cruelty free, and gluten free. So yes. Also, it is available in Sephora Fenty Skin. That is, it is available in Sephora online at Sephora and online at FentyBeauty.com. Um, Ulta does sell Fenty products, but they sell Fenty Beauty. They don't sell Fenty Skin. So I have a lip scrub that you can get from Ulta, but that's literally the only thing up here you can get from Ulta. All right. So we're going to start with the first product you're going to need when you wash your face. I'm actually running out of this, so I need to go to Sephora and get a new one. Um, this is the Total Cleanser. It's priced at $26. There, what I love the most about this, other than the fact that, you know, instant gratification of going into the store and picking it up, is the twist. You don't have to take like a cap off. You can just twist it. Um, it's supposed to be a remove it all cleanser. Hence the name Total Cleanser. However, like I have a face of makeup on, right? You probably can't tell because it's like my everyday makeup. But I have a face of makeup on and this by itself will remove everything but my mascara. So I use a makeup remover balm and then I go in with my Total Cleanser. Um, but I love her. She makes my skin feel soft, supple. My skin is not dry. Like, it doesn't feel like it's been stripped of everything when I clean this, but I know my face is clean. So, she's a winner in my book. Um, prior, quick little story time, prior to switching to Fenty Skin, I was using Softies, and I love Softies. The only issue I had was I had to go on, like, a specific website, and it wasn't even Softies' website, um, because I think it's, like, an overseas product or something. I'm not sure. I was given that product initially when I was doing microdermabrasions in high school and it's pretty pricey so I had ventured off from it but I found like a discount facial product website that I can't remember offhand but I started purchasing from that website and I'd have to wait like weeks at a time for it to get here and then I tried some other products but it didn't really work so I went back to Sothies and Fenty Skin it's super close to like the cleanse that I was getting with Sothies, so I switched over to Fenty Skin. I tried their travel sizes first before I went to full size, and I recommend that with any facial product, like if they have a travel size, try that first before you commit to buying the full, you know, size one. And before, like, I'm gonna, sh I own every. Fenty Skin product under the sun with the exception of one body butter, like one butter drop. So, and it's a limited edition butter drop that just dropped. So, with that being said, I'm not doing this vlog so you go out and you buy every Fenty Skin product known to man. I purchased them to try them. Some of them I love, some of them I'm not fond of, but, you know, try the basics before you purchase a whole line of something. Because you never know how your skin's going to react to it. Just because it works for my skin does not necessarily mean it's going to work for everybody's or that you're going to like it. But I'll get more into that as I go 
product my brother. But yeah, so this is the total cleanser. She is $26. Um, I got I got all of my information about the products from the Fenty Beauty website. So this is stated to dissolve dirt, oil, long wear makeup, and pollution from pores, deeply cleanses and purifies without stripping the skin. I can attest to everything except for the dissolving long wear makeup and just because it doesn't get my mascara off and I use Fenty Beauty mascara. So I don't know. It could be user error, but I, I kind of doubt it on my end because I've tried multiple times and had to resort to a makeup removing balm. But yeah, she is made with Barbados Cherry, which is packed with antioxidants and helps revitalize skin and is also loaded with more vitamin C than an orange and it helps brighten skin. Um, she has ginkgo biloba, which helps control surface oil and clarify skin, as well as balance pores and assist in fighting shine long after you have rinsed your skin. Um, also, fun fact, ginkgo biloba is a popular traditional Chinese ingredient. She has green tea, which helps defend against environmental stressors and is high in antioxidants. Um, she has fig, which is a desert-loving fruit that's rich in antioxidants, and quince, which is a mineral-rich fruit that helps condition. She is non-comedogenic, which means it won't clog your pores. She's listed for all skin types, um, and she has a coconut and cherry-inspired scent. It's not strong at all, I promise. Like, if you're concerned about scented products, like, this is not a strong scent. And I have really sensitive skin. This does not bother my skin at all. Hence why I've gone through multiple of these. Um, then we have the original Fat Water Niacinamide Pore Refining Toner Serum with Barbados Cherry. And she is priced at $30. Once again, she does not have a cap. Um, she twists. So, and she's recyclable, of course. And I said she's priced at 30 Now, I say original because I have another fat water. It does not look like this. This is almost empty. I use her at night. Um, I've been using her for a while. She still ain't gone. I love her, but I love the new one that I bought more. So I think when I'm done using this one, I'm going to stick to the other one that I'll get to after this. Um, she's a powerful, uh, bleh, sorry, can't speak. She's a powerful, powerful serum, um, along with a treatment of a toner. It tightens the look of pores, helps visibly fade dark spots, soothes and plump skin, and checks shine without stripping moisture. She's also thick and full-bodied, hence fat water. So with most toners, you put it on like a cotton ball or a cotton um, pad, and you can like wipe it on your face, you don't have to do her this with her. Like, you literally just pour her in your hand and you apply to your face with your hands. Love it. It also helps with, like, controlling waste so you're not using extra products and wasting extra products. So, yeah, she's a winner. She is made with Barbados Cherry, Niacinamide, which fights shine and reduces the look of pores and dark spots. Australian Lemon Myrtle, which helps reduce surface oil and refine its pores. Japanese Raisin Tree, which helps detoxify commonly used, and is commonly used in Asia to recover from long nights of partying. So if you're a club girly, she is your friend. Green Tea, Fig, and Cactus Flower, which helps hydrate skin. Um, she's alcohol free. She's also non-comedogenic. She has a light scent of sweet and cherry, sweet cherry and sun-kissed fig. Um, there's also a, fragr a fragrance-free option if you prefer that. But this is the one with the scent, and I promise you, it, it's not bothersome. It's very, very, very light. Um, the fragrance-free is also priced at the same price, price point, so it's also $30. Okay, now we're going to get into my, my fave toner. Well, I say fat water. And she is the fat water hydrating milky toner. 
essence with hyaluronic acid and tamarind she's priced at $32 so she's just a whopping $2 more than her big sis the OG fat water it's not called the OG fat water that's just what I call it because it was the original one um she has a toner essence combo for those looking for more hydration I've talked about this in multiple vlogs I have very 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 dry skin especially like now currently it's in the winter I'm currently back in Atlanta but when I'm in Virginia it's way way worse so I was struggling when it started getting cold um and my skin was just like super duper duper dry my face gets really dry um so I've been trying to find like different stuff to like moisturize my face Fenty worked really well but this helps a thousand times better like a thousand and this feels really nice when I put it on like when I'm washing my face my face feels pretty soft anyways but this my face feels like butter like I don't know what it is but this just makes my face feel so much freaking better I love it so yeah she's made with hyaluronic acid tamarind Panthenol, which um, they all plump skin with hydration and strengthen skin's moisture barrier, mineral PCAs, uh, mineral complex NMFs, which are natural moisture factors. Um, they bind and they bind moisture and strengthen skin barriers. Niacinamide, vitamin E, which helps defend against free radicals and environmental stressors, Barbados cherry, green tea, and Kalahari melon, which softens and conditions and nourishes skin. This, though, is not listed as non-comedogenic, like um, the OG fat water, but this has a light, fresh scent similar to the original Butter Drop and the Instant Reset which I'll get into when I get to those products. Okay. Um, next, this is a new product that she came out with. This is the Watch Your Tone Niacinamide Dark Spot Serum. This is priced at $42. Um, it's a serum targeted towards uneven skin tone and dark spots. Don't get me wrong. I love Fenty. I love Fenty Skin. I love Fenty Beauty. This is not my favorite product. I purchased it to try it. I've been trying it for a little over a month. I can't say that I would buy this over another product. Um, I have used a product from... Uh, I'm trying to think of the name. Topicals. There's a Topicals um, product that I love for dark spots. This does work. However, like, if you can see, I have hyperpigmentation along my forehead. That happened while I was actually, um, I switched up some of my products. And then, you know, with purging and me not taking care of my skin like I should and not eating as I should and not hydrating like I had this whole I've been having this whole issue with my face breaking out my face has stopped breaking out for the moment um but as I've stated in other vlogs I always deal with hyperpigmentation whenever I break out this is not working as fast as the topicals product that I use prior to this so I'm likely going to go back to topicals um, I don't foresee me repurchasing this now I can say this smells better than topicals and I don't know um, I'll probably purchase topicals and use it along with this and maybe maybe I'll keep this around like I'll purchase it for like daytime use because topicals you can, I only use at night like I only use topicals once a day but that's a that's a very big maybe I probably am not likely because it's 42 freaking dollars so I don't know um and it is refillable I'm I'm sure the refill is the re, not even I'm sure I know for a fact the refill is not 42 dollars the refills are always cheaper than the initial purchase but I'm not doing it so 
yeah. But this is a serum targeted towards uneven skin tone and dark spots. My skin tone is even. I don't really have that issue. It's just the dark spots for real. So I guess my skin tone probably isn't as even as it should be if I have dark spots. Who knows? This has 5% niacinamide, vitamin C, um, which is a more stable derivative of pure. Oh, the vitamin C it has is 3-O-ethanol ascorbic acid which is a more stable derivative of pure vitamin C. It reduces the look of dark spots and brightens an even skin tone, the vitamin C, 3O, ethanol, ascorbic acid, that is. It also has diapotassium glycerocyanite. I don't think I said that right. Uh, basically, it's licorice root extract. It reduces the look of dark spots and helps calm dry aggravated skin. It has camel camel, which is a powerful source of vitamin C. It helps brighten, clarify, and even skin tone. And of course, Barbados Cherry. Um, she's now non-comedogenic and fragrance free for a whopping $42. I don't hold on, sorry. Go with that. Alright. Now that that's been retrieved, on to our next product. We have the, oh, nope. Baby, it's Monday. We have the Flash Nap Instant Revival Priming Eye Gel Cream. I only have the eye gel cream. You can get it where you also have the, um, you also have the applicator. I didn't do that. Um, this works on contact to reduce the look of puffiness and dark circles while plumping the look of fine lines, wrinkles, and crow's feet instantly and over time. I like this as far as eye creams go. Um, I'm very big on eye creams just because my under eyes get like super duper puffy. You can't really tell. Um, so there's that. And I'm big on like maintenance and upkeep so to fight aging like sis don't need to look I don't need to look my age I prefer to look younger than my age and once I do hit like 40 50 sis still wants to look young I don't want to look like I'm 40 or 50 or like I've been through it so I'm going to continue with my skincare and I'm definitely going to continue with um, eye cream and I don't want like Botox or fillers or none of that stuff. Not to say there's anything wrong with the people who get it like it, that's fine for them. I personally don't want to do it. So I'm big on like taking care of my skin and just going this route. So, and I like how this feels. Like, it feels really nice. It's very, very, very light. Um, and it doesn't, like, bother my eyes or anything like that. And I do see results from it. So, there's that. I have used eye creams before where I did not have results. And I felt like it was just a waste. Also, this is $34. So, I'm glad it works. Or it would have been a waste of $34. Um, and if you buy the cream with the applicator, it is $42. So, yeah. This is made with horse chestnut, which helps firm and reduce the look of puffiness. Hyaluronic acid, Persian silk tree, which is silk-like petals, which help counteract signs of fatigue and aging. And green tea. It's not listed as non-comedogenic, but it is unscented. Um, and like I said, if you want the eye cream with the gel applica with the applicator, it's $42, but it's very good that this is, I don't foresee me wanting to put something that's like heavily scented by my eyes. Most eye creams are unscented though. I've never had like used an eye cream that was scented, but out of all of the eye creams I've used, this one is my favorite. So this baby is the Hydrovisor Invisible Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF um, 30 and this is 
she feels really great. Um, she has a nice little scent behind her. And I love that it has SPF because I don't, <laughs> most SPFs like have a white cast. This does not have a white cast at all. I love that. And I love that it's built into the moisturizer. So it's just like one step. Now I don't have to like put on the moisturizer and then put on the SPF and it's not greasy. Um, the issue I've been having with SP, like when I was putting SPF on my face prior to was that the SPF would leave like a greasy residue on my face and I hated it. Like, I really hated it. They do now. I've seen in Sephora, like, they have, like, matte SPFs, um, which is great. But this gives me all I need. And also, because I use a lot of, like, different products for hyperpigmentation and to get rid of dark spots, especially at night, um, it can carry over into the morning into the morning and you don't want to go outside in the sun if you regularly use products to target dark spots and stuff without a SPF because you will have sun damage on your face um it's just that simple so yeah I think I said that she's $38 um she is refillable I'm gonna show you guys so you just open it take her out and this is what it looks like when you buy the refills. And she's almost gone too. So I'm going to need more anyways. And then yeah, she opens and closes like that. So she is a lightweight, a lightweight moisturizer with SPF included. She locks in fresh hydration while fading dark spots and defending against pollution. Instantly smooths while treating pores and dark spots over time. Um, it's made with Kalahari Melon, Niacinamide, Aloe, which helps hydrate, soothe, and condition skin, and Baobab, which is a natural rich superfruit that helps hydrate. Um, she's non-comedogenic, she does not clog your pores, and she smells of a light desert melon. Um, and like I said, she's refillable. The refill is $34, which is $4 cheaper than the full thing. Um, now... I will say for scent wise, I don't really smell it. So when they say a light desert melon scent, it's light because I don't really smell it at all. And I like to think I have a pretty good sense of smell. All right, so this the next is the Instant Reset Brightening Overnight Recovery Gel, which is going to be this bad boy. All of these products are going to have to be refilled soon at the rate I'm going. Um, this is what it looks like. The, this part is the part that's refillable. Um, like you you pop it out from the bottom and you can refill it. And when you buy the initial thing, it's $42. When you get the refill, it's $38. So, yeah. Um, it's an overnight moisturizer, which helps visibly reduce dark spots and fine lines, replenishes hydration, and gives your skin like a plump, juicy look. It definitely does. My face definitely looks moisturized after I use this at night. So, no, no complaints about that. In this, you have Kalahari Melon Oil, Niacinamide, Hyaluronic Acid, Aloe, Baoba, Jasmine Raisin, Japanese Raisin Tree, Jasmine, Japanese Raisin Tree, Australian Lemon Myrtle, Cactus Flower, and Green Tea. It is non-comedogenic and has a tropical fruit and floral scent. And like I said, the refill is $38. Um, so, yeah. She's nice. She also comes with like a little scoopy thing. I have seemingly lost my little scoopy thing. I really don't know where it's at. But she had one. Um, I don't foresee me rebuying this case to have another scoopy thing. It's just to scoop out the product and I just, I use my fingertip. Like, it's perfectly fine. Now we have, we're going to move into our lips. So this is a lip mask. This is also a new product that she recently released and I'm really happy that she did. I was using a different lip mask, which I still do use. I use it at night. I use this during the day. So after I wash my face, I put this on and I'll apply my lip makeup as I'm doing my makeup later, like over it. Or if I'm just like working from home and I don't want to wear makeup 
or like I don't want lip liner and lip gloss I will just use this and then I'll go over it throughout the day with my lip my fancy skin lip oil but the plush put in intensive recovery lip mask is $22 um, it's clearly a plush pudding like lip mask with supercharged moisture resulting in a smoother firmer and plumper looking pout it's made with coconut oils and castor oils which are rich humectants that bind and retain moisture to promote healthier fuller lips pomegranate and jojoba oil complex which is antioxidant rich it firms and visibly plumps lips and helps with bounce and elasticity Barbados cherry and vitamin E so basically with this it smooths texture and reduces the look of lines and wrinkles in just one week it does my lips look real nice compared to how I started um, it firms and improves elasticity on just one week leaves lips looking fuller most more sculpted and more defined revives dry flakes flaky lips leaving them restored soft and replenished and leaves a clear sheen it does it's not greasy looking but it is a clear sheen and it has a light vanilla scent and flavor I don't eat it but it does smell like vanilla which is a plus because sis loves vanilla now next is the cherry treat conditioning and strengthening lip oil and she's $24 and she's about to get put on right now because my lips is feeling a little dry um I personally think that this feels really nice it feels like an oil to me Alexis did use it one day she said it feels like a gloss like it's sticky like a gloss but I disagree it doesn't feel sticky to me um, this is ultra hydrating non-sticky lip oil which goes on clear and keeps lips moisture barrier unlocked. I can't I don't know if you can tell but my lips are clear like there's no pink tint or red tint or anything it looks like it would give like a red or pink tint but I think that's just the bottle well no because the applicator the applicator is really cute um, it's like a plush doe foot applicator so it looks like this let's see like that so yeah i like it but this is made with sweet cherry seed oil which infuses lips with the essential fatty acids and moisturizes and nourishes barbados cherry extracts wild cherry extract which is antioxidant rich it conditions and renews lips and jojoba seed and rose hip fruit oils which helps lock in moisture and soothes dry lips um it's a clear non-sticky formula like i said it does smell like cherries so if you don't like a cherry scent you probably won't like this but it it feels good and to be quite honest my lip combo after i show you this next product my lip combo is like i got some really nice lips if i do say so myself so the next lip product I have is the one I dropped earlier. It's the Pro Kisser Lip Loving Scrub Stick. And this is a Fenty Beauty product. It's not a Fenty Skin, which I don't necessarily understand. But, nay. This is $16. I don't know if I told you guys, but the lip oil was $24. But this is $16. And it's a twist-up lip scrub packed with apricot seed scrubbers which gently exfoliate and nourishes for instantly smooth soft soft kissable lips she's a little she's a little all over the place but can't see it like you can see the scrubbers to me it smells kind of like um vanilla but she doesn't have vanilla in her so i'm not entirely sure why but yeah so my lip combo when I tell y'all my lips be feeling so soft and so nice go in with the scrub do this during like in the morning or you can do it at night whichever one you, or you can do both true it's designed for it to be both but like I told you I have another lip mask that I had purchased before she started making one and I'm in the process of trying to use that up so lip scrub go in with the mask and then throughout the day apply this it's a one I can't complain at all I actually it's products that I genuinely love like I'm going to continue to buy all three of those um, 
Next, we have the Cookies and Clean Whipped Clay Pore Detox Face Mask. This is not refillable. This you have to repurchase. Um, when she first came out, I love a good mask. I'm just going to be honest. And for it to be like a, a pore detox mask, my pores are like one. So for me, it's two, it's three huge problems. I need to control breakouts. Like I need to not have breakouts. That's problem number one. Then I need to fix the pores and then hyperpigmentation. So for this to be four pores, I love it. Um, it's called Cookies and Clean because it looks like cookies and cream, like the ice cream or whatever, with the cookie chunks. Um, but that's just like charcoal beads. She's priced at $32. And I've had this for quite some time. I do not use a lot. The purpose of it is like you scoop it, you put it on your face, but you want to rub it in so that the beads burst. So it should go from like white to like a bluish grayish color. So there's that. It is a 10 minute pore detox that deeply purifies pores and clears dirt while leaving skin soft and conditioned, clinically tested to instantly improve skin's texture and fight shine all day. Now here's the thing. I love me a good clay mask. It don't like when your skin when you take a clay mask off and your skin is like tight and hard and it it's like hard to like move. Don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like hard to move your skin like for real for real I hate that feeling I don't have that issue with this clay mask um there's an Aztec clay mask that you can get from like Walmart or Target or like beauty supply stores whenever I use that oh my gosh my skin be tight as a mug and I hate that feeling like I don't want to feel like like have you ever watched have y'all ever watched Spongebob when he come up out the ocean and he dry up like a real life sponge like he'd be hard like when your sponge been sitting out for days and ain't touch no mo no moisture i don't want to feel like that like i don't want to feel like i had all the moisture stuff out my body i don't want to be spongebob in the desert so she's a winner she is made with clay clearly um which is which weightlessly extracts dirt, oil, and impurities. Charcoal, which helps detoxify pores and absorb oil and impurities. Salicylic acid, which clarifies and refines skin, so it's good for breakouts. Rhubarb and ginger extracts, which conditions and smooths skin. She's non-comedogenic and she's fragrance-free. There's absolutely no fragrance in this. So that's a winner. Now, the next product is not necessarily new but it's new for me this is the pre-show glow which is like a one minute 10 percent aha treatment which clarifies purifies and smooths skin by gently clearing out dull cells on the surface and going deep into pores to smooth refine brighten and even over and even texture over time i like it um as far as exfoliants go I do use, I was using exfoliant by Skin Fix. Um, I kind of miss it, to be quite honest. I think I will keep this. I only use it twice a week. You're only supposed to use it twice a week. But I like the idea of a daily exfoliant. So I'll probably go back with Skin Fix for the pads. And just on the two days out of the week that I use this, I won't use the Skin Fix. But um, it's probably just me. I just really love exfoliating so yeah I like it though it's, it's a really nice product um it has it's first off it's $40 let's start there but it you're only using it twice a week it lasts a while because you're not supposed to put a whole lot on this little thing this applicator comes with it um you can get I think it comes with just this but when you first buy it you should get this and it's like a little pack that comes together. And then I think you can just replace just the just the um the pre-show glow. And not so much the reusable applicator. Um it's 10% AHAs, which are they include glycolic acid, citric acid, and lactic acid, which help reduce the look of pores and dark spots while improving skin's moisture content. Um Rooibos, which is rich in age, 
rich in AHAs and zinc, which revitalizes and renews skin. Pomegranate, papaya, and cranberry enzymes, which help digest, lift, and loosen dead damaged surface cells. Barbados cherry, hibiscus extract, extracts, which um, are vitamin C rich and helps clarify and purify skin. It's advertised as giving smooth, photo-ready skin that is just a minute away. Um, the reusable applicator delivers a gentle physical exfoliation. It's actually, it does feel really nice. Um, and it's the actual product is infused with like a um, a light fruity floral scent inspired by pomegranates and hibiscus. That's what the website says. I don't smell that. I'm gonna be honest. Like, it smells like chemicals. Like, it smells like an exfoliant to me. I don't, I don't know. I don't smell fruit when I smell that. So, that actually wraps up the Fenty Skin for your face. Um, we're gonna go into body care products. So, first on the body care train. We're going to get into butter drops. I have two different butter drops here. One is a limited edition. But we're going to start with the original. This is refillable as well. So the original butter drop is $42. The refill is $38. There is a travel size, which I also have, but I don't have currently on hand. Um, it's in my travel bag. But the travel size is $22. I think, I want to say it's like two ounces, but this is refillable. You pop the bottom out. Um, as you can see, I use this often. I don't know if you can tell. I use it often. I use it a lot. I love it. It's really nice. Feels, feels great on. Um, this is a butter drop whipped body oil cream with tropical oils and shea butter. $42, like I said. Um, it's, or if you're just buying the refills, the refills are $38. But you need the outer layer. So, yeah. Um, it's deep hydration, thick, rich body moisturizer with a nourishing whipped oil cream. Nearly 25% rich butters and restorative tropical oils and extracts. Y'all, this, the name Butter Drop is very correct. Like, this feels like butter on my skin. I love it. I love it. I use it all the time. Love it. I'm never ashy after this. Like, I'm telling y'all, my skin drinks moisture like it's nobody's freaking business it don't matter how much moisture my skin drink this is never going away i always feel great so skin is always nice and smooth smooth legs are nice and smooth i also use a body oil sometimes when i put this on like if i want a fragrance i do have a body oil with like a nice fragrance to it like a nice vanilla scented fragrance of course um so i will use that when i use this but that's neither here nor there. This is made with seven lux oils, Kalahari melon, sorrel, baobab, sunflower, rice barn, coconut, and jojoba, which all help nourish skin and deliver a healthy sheen. It has shea butter, which helps deeply condition and repair the moisture barrier. Um, mango butter, which is antioxidant rich um, and helps restore suppleness. And glycerin, which is a supple human nectant, bind, which binds and locks in moisture. Um, like I said, it's refillable. Refill is $38. Travel size is $22. Um, recently there have been two limited edition versions. Limited edition versions. The current one that's currently out is Vanilla Dream Shimmering Whip Body Oil. Um, that's $45. And, but however, I don't have it and it's sold out online and it's sold out at Sephora. So I'm waiting for it to get in stock. I have email, like I've signed up for email notifications. It has not gone, gone in stock yet. This one, this was the one that came out during Christmas time. Um, limited to drop. It's the Butter Drop Shimmering, Shimmering Whipped Body Cream. Um, I wanna say it was like a winter edition or something. I don't remember exactly what it was called. But I believe this was $45 as well. As you can see, I have used very little of this. When I do apply it, it's like if I'm going out or like special occasions, basically. Because it is limited edition. Um, it can be refilled, but limited edition, I didn't get. Actually, I don't even think they sold the refillable versions of this. So, this is all I got out of this scent. 
so I'm gonna savor it. Um, and when I get the vanilla one, definitely getting it. Um, everybody who has purchased it says that it smells like super good, so yeah, I really want the vanilla one. And it's pink, so yeah, I really want it. Um, next up is the Hydra Reset Intensive Recovery Glycerin Hand Mask. So this is $22. It does have a, it does come in a travel size, which is 40, was 42, which is $14. Um, I like it. It's not a must. I do like hand creams. So for like an overnight thing, this is great. This is an overnight hand mask, um, which is stated to ensure you wake up with cloud soft hands. Thanks to 40% moisture locking glycerin, fruit oils, and plant extracts. It feels really nice. It feels like Vaseline. It feels like I put Vaseline on my hands. But because it's a Fenty product, I'll probably keep using it. Um, yeah, I don't actually, I don't use this every night. Um, but you know, I probably should start. It does make my hands soft. My hands are a little, they're not like rough, but they could be softer. So maybe I should just start using this every night. Um, for them, I've used it. A good number of times to say that I like it but that it feels like I put Vaseline on my hands like when I put it on it feels like Vaseline is on my hands and then I wake up throughout the night because I have to use the bathroom so I feel like I'm washing it off when I wake up overnight but yeah it, it just is what it is this is made with 40 plus 40% glycerin, 5% panthenol which deeply conditions and soothes skin, muru muru and mango butters, which dip, deeply hydrate and nourish and soften skin. Sorrel and Kalahari melon oils. And Barbados cherry and mango seed, mango seed extracts. So that's this one. Um, next up is the Cocoa Cleanser All Over Cleansing Bar. Which, the soap by itself is $14. But if you get it with the dish, which I highly recommend, is $24. You can buy them separate. The dish by itself is $10, and then the soap bar is $14, so it's still going to equal out to $24, but knock yourself out. Just just do yourself a favor and get it all at one time. I personally had to buy them separate because the one together was sold out. I got it for some, from Sephora, first off. I purchased everything from Sephora. I have not purchased anything from the Fenty Beauty website. Um, I'm going to be honest. If that limited edition body butter drop come in, only on the Fenty Beauty, that'll be when I buy it. Like, that'll be where I buy it from. But for the most part, all of my stuff is from Sephora. Mostly because of instant gratification. And I want to be able to walk in the store and get it. Worst case scenario, I have to order it online. But it comes super duper quick. So, there's that. And I'm, a, in, I'm technically a Sephora insider. I'm at the rogue <laughs> level. So, yeah, there's that. Um, but this is the cleansing bar. The soap dish comes in handy because, like, you see how my bar look? Like, it's dry, first off, because you set it in it, and you're setting it up. So it's not like sitting in water and melting away. It's just, it's literally draining the water from it, and the dish drains out in the tub. So, or in the shower, so that works perfectly. But this is a buttery bar for buttery skin. And it's actually a nourishing face and body bar. So you can use it for your face and your body. I clearly only use it for my body because I have products for my face. And I, I personally don't want to try that on my face. I'm, I'm fine with the Total Cleanser. I'm not trying that on my face. So if y'all going to look for a review for that, it's not coming from me because I'm not doing it. Um, That has coconut and boa bub. Boabub oils, shea butter, and coconut butter, cocoa powder, which clarifies and softens skin, and vitamin E, as, as well as plant extracts, which calm, soothes, and condition skin. Um, it comes in a mini as well, like a mini dual of the soap bar and the soap dish, in a miniature size for like traveling, which is $19. Um, and yeah, there's that. And one of the two last ones so also backtrack um as far as soap goes 
it's supposed to like I hate when people are like oh I used the soap and it dried out my skin yes I'm sure that can be an issue but your skin is not supposed to be overly moisturized it's soap it's designed to like take it away not take not suck up all the moisture like how I said when I use the total cleanser like my face is not like a desert like it's not tight my my body don't feel tight when I use the soap. It feels really nice. Um, my skin feels really smooth, really soft, but I feel clean. Like, that's the most important part. Are there other soaps in the world that make me feel that clean? Absolutely. Absolutely. Did I really have to pay $24 for them? Heck no. Do I have to pay $14 for a bar of soap that makes me feel that way? No, but I love Robin Fenty. And I love all of her products. I love Rihanna's products. It's just that simple. And I love Fenty Skin. So am I probably going to keep paying $14 for a bar of soap? It's a very large possibility, yes. Um, when I do, like, my skincare re I'm probably going to keep going to Sephora and I'm probably going to keep getting the soap. I can't say that I'm not. But you don't have to. If it's too much for you, do not do it. There are other soaps that make you feel just as good. But I rocks with this the long way, so, yeah. However, this next product, I, I'm not repurchasing it. I'm just going to be honest. And that next product is the Buff Rida um, Exfoliating Scrub. Once again, I got it because it was a Fenty Skin product and I wanted to try it. Um, I told myself, off rip, I'm trying every Fenty Skin product that this woman comes out with. And I have stuck to that. And I'm going, I'm, I'm going to keep my word. I'm going to keep purchasing them and keep trying them. But when you find something that you can do without, please do without it. Don't, don't feel like you have to. This is $32. It's $32 that I could have spent on another exfoliated scrub that works even better. This works really well. Don't get me wrong. It's just not... It's not my fave. It's a great everyday exfoliant, but I have some other exfoliants in my shower that are great for every day, and they cost less than $32. Like, I have the Skin Fix scrub, which you can't use every day, but it's really great. I also have a scrub from Salt XO that I freaking love that smells awesome, amazing. It smells so much better than that, and I'll probably stick to purchasing that versus this. But yeah, so this is the Buff Rider Exfoliating Body Scrub with super fine sand and fruit enzymes. This is $32, like I said. It's gentle and effective exfoli it's a gentle and effective exfoliating body scrub with fruit enzymes and nourishing oils. <sighs> it's made with super fine exfoliants, sugar, sea salt, super fine sand, avocado powder, polish, and which polishes and smooths skin. It has pomegranate, papaya, and pineapple enzymes, which helps exfoliate and renew skin. Coconut oil, shea butter, and Barbados cherry. It smells really good. Um, don't get me wrong. It's nice. It's just I would rather use that money on something else. It does smell very tropical, though. But it, it's just not. It's just not that huge to me. I'm just knocking stuff over. Now, this final product, I love it. It's amazing for like everyday usage. No lie. Um, this is not under the category of Fenty Skin. It's its own category. It's a fragrance. It's her only Fenty fragrance. Rihanna has, Rihanna has made... Rihanna, Rihanna. She has made other products. I think it just depends on, you know, your accent maybe. But how you say her name. But she has made other fragrances. But this is the only one sold under Fenty. And I freaking love it. It's a, it's categorized as a warm, sensual fragrance that's one of a kind. And she ain't lying. She's telling the truth. She's telling the whole truth. It's $140, BT Dub. But it's totally worth it. Fun fact. This was a, a complete blind buy. I did not go in the store and smell it. As soon as it became, because it was only available online. Oh my freaking gosh. Oh my god. It's only available, it was only available on the Fenty Beauty website. And I kept telling myself, I'm going to order it, I'm going to order it, I'm going to order it. I was a little nervous for it to be a blind buy. Then I saw it came available on Sephora.com. I It was like during Christmas time. 
they had some um, fragrance specials going on where it was like 20% off fragrances so I ordered it as a complete blind buy and I'm this is one of the few blind buys that I've done like fragrance wise when I love it and because of how I pair my fragrances like because of how I pair things up it lasts a long time. I pair it with like a vanilla, like a vanilla scented um, oil, fragrance oil. And this, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Like by itself right now, it smells freaking amazing. But with that, with that vanilla fragrance oil, it's even better. Um, this is a warm central fragrance. This one of a kind, like I said, she has it as a warm floral scent so it has magnolia musk tangerine and bulgarian rose and it's made up of only middle notes for a long lasting scent now you can probably pair this with other stuff oh my gosh but i personally like pairing it with a vanilla fragrance oil and this is an everyday scent for me like I'll switch up between this and one other scent for like every day and I'll get into those more I'm gonna do like an updated fragrance video and this will be featured in it but y'all uh, if you like warm floral scents I like warm scents period I'm not too much of a fan of floral scents but this has a chokehold on me like I don't know what it but this smells so good and I get a lot of compliments when I have this on it's just it's everything so yeah out of all the fancy products this is my absolute freaking faith out of all of them and I have like fancy beauty care products all of that but this is my freaking faith um and it's probably gonna be like a regular purchase that I do I'm not so much concerned of like it's selling out or anything like that because like I said it's available on the Fenty Beauty website Fenty um, or Sephora all that and for some reason it's not like a fave for a lot of people but I love her so there's that but all right guys that actually wraps up today's vlog thank you so much for watching be sure to like comment and subscribe and turn your post notifications on if you have any questions about any of the products be sure to put them in the comment box below and i will see you guys in the next vlog bye